poking her head up over this little bit of ground here. There's three male peacocks in the head of this valley. One of them was putting on quite a display. We're just being a little patient at the moment. Just in case they're stupid enough to show themselves. There's a lot of dead ground up here. And we just have to be a little careful with these little devils. There's a blind side to the hill I'm lying on here. It's just literally just over there. And I've had peacocks sit in the blind side of a hill and just wait until you're silly enough to stand up. Even after you've fired a couple of shots. Well, not my best bird, but not bad for in here. And it's uh, just coming on to uh, breeding season for these guys. From about now on, they, uh, they get to give each other the big wind-up. Anyway, here he is on the ground. I actually shot him uh, through the gaps in the totras over my shoulder there. Here he is here. He had no idea what hit him. Fairly fully developed tail. The reason for the for the drama is I've got a a female um, paradise duck over there. She's upset. And there's a pair of them over here, and they're upset. Sitting on top of that little hill there. And I'm absolutely certain that these peacocks, who are just round this corner, he just past this tree and round the corner, another couple of little, little sub ridges, so there's a couple of folds of ground. Now they're very aware of what's going on just by listening to the, the other bird life, the paradise ducks. The magpies and the pukekos. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can't use the grain of the land a little bit and see if we can't get a little bit closer. Well, the girls are down there in the paddock. There's got to be some boys around here somewhere. I can hear them calling, but I haven't managed to latch onto them yet. And another one down. How does it go? The Queen song. And another one down. Another one bites the dust. These things are certainly challenging to, to hunt. got one of the two that were here. Well that's two more out of this corner. It's interesting how they um they're almost fully fully fledged now. 
Um, it's also interesting how the feathers at the end, the very longest ones, don't have an eye in the end. But they certainly put on a beautiful display. That one's feathers more, more goldy than, um, than even that one. <laughs> 